Should you buy InVideo, yes or no? In today's video, that's exactly what I'm gonna answer for you. I've been using InVideo for a while now, I've got a paid plan, so I'm one of the best people to show you whether this is gonna be worth your money or not. In case you want to follow along my demonstration, I'll leave a link for you to sign up in the description down below. All right, so here we are in InVideo. This is the home dashboard. On here, you can find various features, including the templates, AI text to video, stock media, and the normal editor. The templates is where you can find over 5,000 video templates for you to customize and then use for your own videos. With AI text to video, you can convert a script into a full video, which is pretty interesting. I'll show you step by step how that works in this video. You then also have the stock media. So with an in-video subscription, you get access to over 1 million premium videos and photos, which is very valuable. At the end of this video, I'll compare the pricing if you were to get all the stock footage from other websites to the in-video subscription, which you'll see is very beneficial for you. And then you've got the normal editor, which is for pro video creation. This is if you want to upload and then edit your own videos, you can also do that with InVideo. The main things we're going to look at today is the templates and the AI text to video, as these are the prominent features for you to use, as well as to make faceless videos, which is trending as of right now on the various platforms. Starting off with the AI text to video. In order to get started, you simply click on the feature and you'll then come across all of these templates. They have got a lot of templates available. Simply choose the one that you'd like. For now, I'm gonna go with this one right here. Step number two is choosing the sizing. So for today, I'm gonna go with landscape so that I can make a YouTube video. You can also choose square for Instagram or portrait for any short form content. Now don't worry, later on in the process, you can also convert a landscape video into a portrait video in case you would like to. Then simply click use template. And this is where you'll end up at the script part. Now this is really important as well as very interesting. You've got a few options. What you can do is simply type yourself right now. What you can also do is simply prepare a script and then you can simply copy it just like this, then paste it in here and then have the video generated. Or what's more exciting is you can ask the InVideo AI to write your script. You'll see this button right here. If you click on this, you can describe the script you want to generate. Now that is a feature that not many other tools like InVideo actually have and actually works. So this is a great plus for InVideo. So in case this is something that really gets you going, InVideo could be a great one for you already. So what you would do here is you would describe the script you want to generate. Now I've done some research and on YouTube, I was able to find a lot of videos like this one, for example, which are fairly easy to put together, yet they still get 1.3 million views as well as they're monetized. So this video alone on AdSense revenue has made a couple thousand dollars, which is pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is create a similar video. So what I'm gonna go and do is go back to InVideo. I'm gonna say, um, write a script for a video about things to do in Amsterdam, include attractions, restaurants to eat at, hotels to stay in, and typical Dutch stuff. Just like that. I've now given it a prompt, which is similar to ChatGPT. All you need to do then is click generate. Now, if that doesn't work, simply click again. And then within a few seconds, you have a full script ready. Now, this feature is absolutely fantastic. As you can see, it works very smooth and very fast. Welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant capital city of the Netherlands. Explore the famous Anne Frank House, a thought-provoking museum showcasing the history. Take a leisurely stroll along the picturesque canals, admiring the charming narrow houses and blooming flowers. As you can see, it did exactly what I asked it to do. I asked to write a script about Amsterdam and things to do in Amsterdam. Now, what you can do now when you've got your script ready is generate your video. Before that though, what is important is that you tick these boxes right here, iStock and premium. If you stick to free, you're only gonna get footage in your video that is available for free on the internet. Now, I myself, I've got a premium paid plan. The reason I got that plan is because I think that is necessary with InVideo. If you were to use the free plan, yes, everything works. However, it's kind of limited and not really what you want. Because if you choose the free option, you're gonna get videos from Unsplash or Pexels.com, which aren't really the best quality. Whereas if you go with iStock or the premium source, your quality of video is gonna be up like crazy. So I'm gonna untick the free box. I'm gonna to stick to iStock and premium, which if you were to get in video is what I actually recommend doing. Then click create scenes so that the quality of your video is gonna be much higher and you don't have these cringy free stock footage clips in your video. And in case you're wondering why does that matter? That matters a lot. 
if you were to look at the quality of footage from sources like Storyblocks, as well as Shutterstock, which is what NVIDIA is using, the quality of those clips is much higher than Pexels or Unsplash. So if all your competition is using Unsplash, they'll get really cringy clips, whereas with Storyblocks, the quality is gonna to be top tier. So what is happening now? They are creating the scenes, which basically means that they're generating our video. They'll read the script and then they'll match the videos with what we're saying, because that's gonna be really easy for us to complete our video. So, so far that entire process, in my opinion, is very smooth as well as very easy. Anyone, even if you've never made videos before, can use this to make videos. They've made it easier with the stock footage clips as well as the script generator so that you don't even have to do all the work, which is perfect, like I just said, for people that have never made videos before. If you've already made videos before, this is gonna be even easier. All right, so here we are in the storyboard. The storyboard is where we can start customizing and creating our full video. So far, what NVIDIA has done is that they've linked up our script with specific clips from their stock library. However, in case you don't like that, you can always customize that. I'll show you how to do that in a bit. On the left-hand side, you've got your scenes. A scene is basically a little part of your video, which is made up out of parts of your script. So you can see our video right here has 21 scenes and every single scene contains a little part of our full script. Scene number one says, welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant capital city, of the Netherlands. And then they've got this clip inserted in the background. So what we can now do, we can go scene by scene, just like this. We can start customizing the clips in the background, as well as the text up on the screen to edit our video. Now, this is extremely easy. This is something I really like about NVIDIA. They've made it so that anyone, like I just said, even if you've never made videos before, can actually do this. My grandma could potentially, probably do this. You never know with grandmas, but hey, she can probably make this because it's so easy. So in order to customize our clip, all you need to do is click on videos in the left menu. Then from here, you can search for whatever it is that you would like to add. So our video is about Amsterdam. If I don't like the current clip, I can simply type in Amsterdam just like that. And then I can choose from over 8 million stock footage clips, which is insane. And you can see these are from iStock as well as Storyblocks. And if you were to get this individually, you can see that Storyblocks itself is $30 a month if you want HD footage as well as 4K footage that you can actually download. That's already $30 a month. And then sources like Shutterstock as well, once again, it's gonna cost you a lot, a lot of money, which you'll already get back by taking one of the in-video subscriptions, which I'll show you later on as well. But just to demonstrate the quality of video, it is really good and they've got pretty much anything available. So that's something I really like about in-video. What you would then do is simply preview the clip find the clip that you like to add, and then you can simply insert it. This clip right there looks pretty stunning. It's drone footage. In order to add that into your video, you can simply select it and then drag it in here or into media layer number one. Then next up, you can first of all preview it. So this is our clip, absolutely stunning. What you can then do is trim it. So if I only want the first five seconds to play, I can trim it to five seconds, then click add, and then there you go. If you don't trim it, it's gonna take the original length of the video that you choose. So maybe it's gonna turn up to be like 20 seconds. If you then later on wanna customize that, you can simply select it right here. So this is the scene duration. So they've got pretty much any feature covered. All you need to do, simply select it. And then for example, if I want this to be eight seconds, I simply type in eight and then there you go. This clip is now eight seconds. However, it needs to be five. So I'm gonna put it back to five and there you go. So as you can see, we have just changed the clip in the background. Now what we can do next is customize our text as well as potentially get rid of the overlay that is inserted in this template. The way that we do that, first of all with the text, is you can simply click on it or you can click on text on the left-hand side and you can add new text, you can add typographies, um, minimalist filters, as well as social media and call to actions, Astons, trendy stickers, whatever it is, they've got pretty much anything that you might wanna use. But for the basic text, what you can do, you simply select it, you can then double click, the text box will show up here. Then first of all, you can actually customize the text, but this wasn't your script, so chances are that this is already like it should be. So to then further customize it, you can change the movement by simply dragging, dragging it to wherever it is that you want it to show up. If that is just uh, bottom center, just like that, you can make it show up there. However, if you want it top left, simply drag it there, 
bottom right, drag it there. You get the point, you can simply drag it. From there on, you can also customize the size, the font, as well as pretty much anything else. So let's say that the size needs to be 64. Simply click 64 and there you go, it will then change. If you wanted to have two full lines, you can simply make this text box a bit smaller so that as you can see, it's gonna look like that. And then there you go. If you want it to be one line only, you'll simply drag it out further and there you go. So that's how you can customize it. Everything is drag and drop editing, which is something I really like because once again, this makes sure that anyone, even if you've never done this before, can get started with making videos. From here on, what we can then do is change the text color. If you click right there on text color, you can go to colors right here. For example, if you want this to be red, you can make it red. If you want this to be blue, you simply select blue and you slide it over to blue. For now, I'm gonna stick to white because this shows up in the best way possible. I think it's better than other colors. So I'm then gonna click replace all so that all the text is gonna be white. And there you go, that's how you can then do that. So that's how you can customize text. Now there's actually a lot more options. If you go to text effects, you can see you can do background fill, shadow, blending. They've made sure that any feature that you potentially might want is indeed available. Simply click on the I and then everything will show up. So I'm just gonna go back, but do know that all of that is indeed possible. There's no feature missing in terms of customizing your text. Now, what I don't like about this opening clip is the overlay. In order to remove that, what I can do is go to the editor and you can also use the editor to make your entire video. It's just a preference. I myself, I've been using the storyboard more than just the editor screen itself, but this is also an option. In this one, you get all of your scenes to show up. So this is kind of a nice overview to see what your video currently looks like. Now what I'm gonna do, let's say that I don't like the overlay. In the top right corner, what you'll find is your elements. I like this because this makes it really convenient. If you compare this to, to other tools like Flicky or Pictory, they don't do this. They don't have a like overview of all the elements in one scene. The reason I like this is because it's easy to find things back. Normally you would have to click and then figure out where to remove it or where to edit. Whereas as of right now, you can simply find the elements here. This one is locked. So you wanna unlock it so that you can change it. You then click on it. And then for example, if I wanna remove that, all I do is click backspace and there you go. As you can see, that overlay effect is now gone, which makes our video look like this. And by the way, in case the preview isn't really high quality, don't worry. If you render your video, it will be high quality, 1080p, full HD, if you've got a premium plan, just like me, for example. But this is just a preview, so don't worry about that. So that is what our scene currently looks like. Now in the second scene, once again, we've got that overlay. So if you still don't like this, once again, you can remove it or you can add any other overlay if you go to elements and then simply insert it. As you can see, overlays, click on the arrow, and then as you can see, you can choose any of these overlays and add them into your video. Now that is to show you that they've got a lot of features with NVIDIA. I know a lot of other tools, they don't have all of these kind of overlays that you can add to your video. So that is how you can customize any of your clips. For example, clip number, whatever this is, right? Maybe seven. Once again, you'll see all of the elements in the right hand side. You can customize all of it. If I go to media, you can either customize the image, you can add a video, you can get rid of the overlay, you can add text, logo, whatever it is, you can do it. And that is something I really like. So going back to the storyboard real quick, what you would do, what I usually do when building out my video is I simply start with scene number one and then I work my way down. So I'll click scene number two, I'll analyze whether the clip is accurate, whether I like the current clip or not. If I don't like it, I'm gonna customize it. If I like it, I'll stick with it. So let's say that I wanna stick with this one. I'll then go to scene number three, and then I'm gonna change this one. So here, we're talking about the Amsterdam canals. So what I'll do, I'll type in Amsterdam canals, hit search, select a clip, add it, and then move on to the next. Now that process is extremely convenient, as well as really, really quick and easy to do. I've said it before, but anyone can do this because they've made it so easy to do. Everything is basically a template. However, you can still customize it in case you don't like the template, which is perfect for anyone looking to make videos. The fact that everything is kind of drag and drop editing makes it extremely accessible for pretty much anyone. So in terms of getting your video together, extremely easy. But what about voiceovers as well as background music? These days, getting monetized on YouTube actually requires a voiceover. You cannot just slap together some footage into an editing tool and then upload it and make a ton of money. You do need a voiceover. They've got you as well. So on here, what you can do is either click voiceover, 
which is showing up right here at the bottom. And then you've got four different ways of adding a voiceover. You can do text to speech, which is an AI voiceover. You can do importing from your uploads. So basically uploading your own file and then using it. You can upload your voiceover file itself, or you can record a voiceover live in the software. So any feature that might be an option to use for a voiceover, they do have that available. That's something I like. However, the main thing you're probably going to use is the automated text to speech. In order to do that, you simply click on it. What I recommend you do is go to scene number one and then click on it so that you can do everything at once. So in order to do that, what you can do right here is either click on legacy or realistic. I recommend choosing realistic as that is the better one. Next up, you can choose your language. They've got many languages available, as you can see right here. Then you can choose the voiceover. So they'll give the voiceover a name. I'll demonstrate a few right now. Hello, hope you are having a great time. Hello, hope you are having a great time making your video. Hello, hope you are having a great time making your video. And there you go. Simply choose the one that you like best. I'm going to go with Maxwell. I'm then going to click generate voiceover. What it's going to do right now is generate the voiceover for one specific scene. Now, this is a mistake I made many times when I just got started using a video. What you can do is click add automated voiceover for all scenes. So it's going to generate it for your entire video, then click on add. And it's now going to generate the voiceover for your entire video rather than just the first clip so that you don't have to do this manually one by one, which is what I used to do. But you can simply get all of them done at one go. That is once again a feature that I really do like compared to other softwares that saves you a lot of time as well as just easy to do. So within minutes, you'll now have your full video done. We've got all of the scenes, we've got text up on the screen and we've got a voiceover. Depending on the length of your video, this might take a few minutes, but I'll get back to you once that is generated. And there you go. As you can see, all of the voiceovers have now been generated. I'll click play just to demonstrate what this now sounds like. And there you go. That's a problem I used to have a lot as well. In order to fix that, you want to click on the story block audio, which is the music, go to volume and fade, and then put the music around 60%. This way, the combination between background music and voiceover is going to be much better. If you then click play. Welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant capital city of the Netherlands. Explore the famous Anne Frank House, a thought provoking museum showcasing the history of the Holocaust. Take a leisurely stroll along the picturesque canals. And there you go. That is what we have just created with NVIDIA within just a few minutes in a quick demonstration. So in terms of process, do I recommend NVIDIA? Yes, I do. You can see that for anyone, even beginners, it's going to be extremely easy to get started making videos that have B-roll, that have text up on the screen, a voiceover and background music. Anyone can get that done within just a few minutes of their time, which is fantastic to see. From here on, what you can now do is export your video. Click right there. And then in order to export this in the highest quality, you do need a paid plan. So I'll get to the pricing in a bit to show you whether that is worth it. Simply click export and your video is now going to render. Now, what is good as well is that in case there's any problem with rendering or just making your video, they've got a live chat feature available. If you click right there, you can have a support agent 24 seven that you can simply ask your question and then get it answered right away. So the support on that side of things is perfect. So our video is now rendering. I'll show you the final result at the end of this video. For now, let's take a look at templates and then pricing. In order to find templates, simply go back to the dashboard, go to templates, and then you'll find all of these templates right here. They've got over 5,000 templates available, and these are great for any kind of videos. These can be shorts, these can be promotions, YouTube intros, whatever it is. What I recommend you do is use the search bar. So for example, if I need a story ad for Instagram, simply search story ad. And as you can see, let's say I'm a real estate agent. I can click right here, click use template. Your video will then show up. This is in the editor section and this is the template. If you scroll through the template, you'll see all of the elements appear in the top right corner, which is where you can customize them. So for example, this is an ad for real estate agents. Let's say that you're a real estate agent as well, but not in LA but in New York, what you can do is simply customize the text to New York City, just like that. And the name is not Allian Williams, but let's say your name is um, Gary Smith. For example, you simply type in Gary Smith. And then what you'll see is that the text up on the screen is going to change. So once again, they've made it extremely easy for anyone 
to put together these kind of videos. They've got so many templates available that they'll pretty much have anything for anyone. Whatever it is that you might need, they will have it, which is a really good thing. You can see a Facebook bakery ad, Friday coupon Instagram story, um, decor catalog ad, baby care essentials, whatever it is, simply search for it, then go into the template section and you can start editing it. Now, this is something that I've not used a lot myself as I mainly make videos for YouTube, which I found the AI text to video to be the best option for. But if you make short form content, this is gonna be a game changer for you. What I recommend you do is click on the video down below. I've actually made a full tutorial about just the template section. I'll link you to that so that you can watch that entire video and find out if this is something that you might wanna use. Let's now take a look at the pricing to figure out if NVIDIA is worth it, yes or no, and whether I recommend it to you. So this is the NVIDIA pricing. They do have lifetime plans, so you can pay $400 once and that is it, or $1,100 once for the unlimited plan and you'll never have to pay again. That is something that's pretty interesting. However, that's not gonna be for most of you. What I've done myself, I'm paying yearly for the premium plan. So by paying yearly, you can save yourself 50%. With yearly, the business plan is gonna cost you $15 a month and the unlimited plan is gonna cost you $30 a month. For that, what you'll get with the business plan is no watermark on your videos, which is a must, 60 HD video exports per month, which for most of you will be more than enough. However, in case you're doing more than 60 videos, you can go with the unlimited plan because there they've got unlimited exports. You can get 10 iStock media clips, choose from over 1 million premium media clips, and you can remove 20 backgrounds. Now that right there isn't really necessary for most of you. It's just a nice little addition. And then all of that is covered by a seven day money back guarantee for the business plan as well as the unlimited plan. So there's really no risk at all in case you wanna just try this, you can always get your money back. With the unlimited plan, which is more for people that do a lot of videos, let's say you've got a business and you wanna use this for clients or anything like that, then the unlimited plan is gonna be for you. No watermark, unlimited exports, 120 iStock media clips. So you can see that is a lot more. And those are the highest quality clips available. You can choose from over 1 million premium media clips and remove 40 backgrounds as well as a seven day money back guarantee. So that is the pricing. Now the free plan, I do not recommend. That is not gonna be worth it. There's no use for it as you'll have watermarks. The quality is not great. I don't recommend using that at all. So if you were to get in video, I do recommend a paid plan. Now, if after watching this video, you wanna try out in video, what you can do is click on the link in the description down below. From there on, you can use the coupon code YVH25 to get 25% discount on any in video plan for the lifetime of you using it. So if you wanna try out in video backed by seven day money back guarantee, as well as a coupon code, use YVH25 at checkout by using the link in the description down below. You can also check out in video's YouTube channel where they've got a ton of tutorials that will show you step by step how to use the platform. I'll also put a link to their YouTube channel in the description down below. With that being said, here's the video I generated with NVIDIA. Let me know your thoughts down below. Welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant city known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and world-class attractions. First on your list should be a visit to the iconic Anne Frank House, where you can immerse yourself in the story of this courageous young girl. Take a leisurely stroll along the picturesque canals and marvel at the charming gable houses that line the streets. Indulge in the mouth-watering Dutch cuisine by visiting local restaurants like De Casse, where you can savor farm fresh ingredients in a greenhouse setting. For a unique dining experience, head to the Supper Club, where you can enjoy a delicious meal while lounging on plush white beds. Experience the vibrant nightlife by exploring the trendy bars and clubs in the lively Leidseplein area. 